Hi, this is Bill. I'm with the Sigma Service Team. Today I'm going to show you how to start a new job using PlanSwift and Sigma together. First, you need to open PlanSwift and open the job that you want to do the takeoff on. Then, open Sigma and start a new job. Now, there's several ways you can do this. You could use a template in Sigma that you've already um, made and that you use for many of your jobs. Or you could start a new estimate and put the headings in as you go. For instance, walls, um, then roof, then millwork, etc. Now that you have your headings in Sigma, you can start adding line items. For instance, wall type one, wall type two. Now these wall types are the actual items that you're gonna take off in Plant Swift. For instance, wall type one. Click on wall type one, click on the Plant Swift tab, click on wall area, and go to Plant Swift and you'll see that this box is open where you can establish the wall height Let's call it 10 feet. Let's say you want drywall on both sides and the wall is three and a half inches wide. Click OK and start your takeoff. Now while you're doing this, Plan Swift is calculating the square footage on both sides of the wall. So go back to uh, Sigma, click on Refresh, and you can see that you now have the total square footage for that wall in Sigma. Now that's a square foot for both sides of the wall. But let's say instead that you're going to use an assembly from RS Means. First, you need to open the assembly um, database from Means. Uh, there is a sample that's included with your um, Sigma subscription. And then you can go to Interiors, Interior Construction, Partitions, Drywall Partitions. Pick one, drag it, drop it into your estimate, click on it, go back to Plan Swift wall area, and again, choose the height, the number of walls, the width, click OK, and do your takeoff. End your takeoff, click on the refresh button, and you can see that it's been brought into Sigma. Uh, millwork, let's take off countertops. So put countertops in, click on it, click on area, Go back to the plan. You can see that it now says countertops in Plan Swift. Click OK and take off the countertops. Once this is done, again hit the refresh button and you'll have the square footage of the countertops in there. So you can see we designed this to make the workflow between Plan Swift and Sigma seamless. You can do this by creating the work breakdown structure as you go, or you could open a template that already has that structure, or you could drag and drop items from a cost database. So now you know how to start a new estimate in Sigma by using Plan Swift integration. For further information, go to www.sigmaestimates.com.